I would say in the like average 24 hour time frame, I probably watch about 72 hours of Netflix. <laughs> It's very impressive. I love that we can watch all of these movies and all of these television shows on demand. And I love that we call it on demand. Because it sounds so assertive and powerful. The way I demand Netflix is I take my pants off, I sit on my couch, and I gently press a button. On demand! And if I'm watching a television show, I don't even need to press another button. The next episode of the television show will just automatically play. That is like going to Chipotle, taking a bite of a burrito, and then the rest of the burrito just crawls down your throat. <laughs> and unless you actively push a button to stop it, more and more burritos will just come crawling into your body. It is beautiful and horrible. And it's, it's, it's obviously, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous to compare burritos to Netflix because we need burritos to live. Uh, we don't need Netflix to live. It just feels like we do. Uh, because Netflix, it's become so much more than like a, just a media service. It feels like a, a member of the family. Like your weird uncle who thinks he understands your life but really doesn't, so feels free to make awful suggestions. Like, see, uh, see uh, you enjoy watching Bambi. Do you wanna watch Human Centipede? <laughs> They're both about animals, right? I mean, kind of? They're both about animals. I think Netflix, with all its weird suggestions, is just gonna eventually morph into like a horrible dating site. If you're interested in single men, perhaps you'd like to try married women. Dying alone. Or this Benedict Cumberbatch body pillow. Who wouldn't want that? Uh, I also like Netflix's incredibly like bizarre, specific uh, categories for things like, action movies that are also horny, but they take place in Canada, and you know, office place romances with the word corn in them, and Amish murder mysteries that don't have Harrison Ford. I'm like, is that, I, I didn't even know they... I want Netflix to start like actually naming films with that sort of like weird descriptive, yet somehow still accurate style. Like, I see that you just watched Jennifer Lawrence shoots people with arrows. Perhaps you'd also enjoy a Kristen Stewart makes a weird face. <laughs> Maybe you'd enjoy Tom Hanks is likable again. <laughs> Maybe you'd like Bilbo Baggins dicks around for three hours. <laughs> Part one. 